Well, now the brave mums watching their children fade away. Angelina, Greta and siblings Isla and Jude are living with dementia. Tonight their mothers have come together to beg for more research and greater awareness of this terrible condition. Honey, honey, don't conceal it. Uh-huh, honey, honey. Yeah? Being a teenager can be hard enough. But for Angelina Latti, it's exhausting. I heard about you before. They're all the things she loves. Putting on makeup, fake Not nails. Tonight. You ready? Dancing and singing with her mum Nikki. Super trooper lights are gonna find me. Shining like a sun. At just 17 years old, Angelina should be preparing for her Year 12 exams. Instead, she's facing a far greater test. Somewhere in the crowd, there's you. Your child quickly fading away in front of your eyes and you can't do anything. Nothing. My baby. Angelina has childhood dementia, a condition so easily recognised in the elderly not in energetic youngsters who should have their whole lives ahead of them. Do you think dementia and you think children? How can it happen to children? It doesn't make sense. You think it's something that will happen in old age. In my hair. I know in your hair. Two and a half years ago, this was Angelina. A bright, bubbly and driven 15-year-old. I was waiting for the bus when a lady came. From a little girl, she loved performing. I'd be watching her on stage and she's following and looking at the other students of what to do next. And I'm like, that's very unusual for her. What are you, what are you doing at school? But I just thought, oh, here's high school, teenager, you know, distractions, boys. But Nikki realised something far more devastating was consuming her daughter. She started dropping glasses, you know, she's setting the table for me and just dropping them and they're smashing. And we're like, what's wrong? She goes, I don't know, Mum, I'm just smashing the glasses. And then it should smash another one. I'm like, OK, something's wrong. Having constant seizures, doctors thought Angelina had epilepsy. It would take them nine months to diagnose her with a rare genetic condition called Lafora disease. It's just your worst, worst nightmare to hear that, um, you know, there's something wrong with your child and um, you can see them suffering so much um, and then not to be able to read and write um, or walk properly or think um, you know especially someone who was so smart. While her friends continued to strive around her Angelina began losing the simplest of skills and she knew her life was slipping away. It scares me. So she'd be standing outside the toilet and go mum where's the toilet? I'm like it's just there so we'd have to take her in, or where's my room? Even with just an NDIS understanding what we're going through and, you know, when we get assessments done, it, no one knows how to or what to do. Like, I get denied so many times. Got it? You know, you're anticipating the grief that's coming because they're slowly fading away. Feeding her daughter through a tube and recording pages of medication a constant reminders of Angela's decline. But still, Nikki dreads the day it will end when she'll rely on the song that she wrote for her baby girl. What made you write this? I, uh, it was like a prayer. I just needed to give her something because you know our hearts are breaking, and just to me, it was like a memory that I could keep forever. To support the Childhood Dementia Initiative and for more information, head to our website.